What's going on guys? My name is Rahul and welcome to the very first tutorial of Swell Framework. Well I know most of you guys are here on this channel for the first time and also probably you are wondering that what the heck is this RDH code. Well this is our e-learning channel for the people who wants to learn how to code. So you are going to see a lot of tutorials and courses from this channel in the future. Now let's just get on the topic. In this series we will start from scratch and learn the various concepts in Swelt. In this introductory video I'll briefly talk about what's and why's of Swelt and also what you need to have to get started with Swelt. Alright let's begin with what is Swelt. Swelt is a component framework you can use to build high performance web applications. What is component framework? Well a component framework helps you write application code in a declarative manner. But what do we mean by declarative? If you worked with some of the programming languages like C or C++ for example, you are probably aware of the imperative programming model, where we usually list down the steps explicitly and ask the library to do one thing after the other. In the declarative version though, we are simply saying that what outcome we want. We just have to tell Svelte what we want the UI to look like and it will take care of the rest. It's a lot easier to read and write and there is no code duplication. So you now know what is Svelte. It is a component framework for building web applications and you can use it to progressively build an existing application or build an entire single page application from scratch. But the more interesting question is why Svelte? Or how does Svelte is better than compared to other frameworks or libraries like React and Vue? The first thing is that unlike React or Vue which do a bulk of their work in the browser, Svelte shift that work into a compiled steps. That happens when you build your application and because of this there is no need to bundle the framework code and so the bundle size is smaller. Of course this is something that happens behind the scenes which you don't have to worry about when writing code. What you do have to worry about though is the developer experience. If you worked with React or Vue you would find yourself with a problem of what to choose for state management. Redux or Vuex are not the most simplest libraries to understand. Svelte on the other hand provides Svelte stores out of the box which is really easy to work with and not just that Svelte has a ton of features which makes your life easier by providing answers to your questions that you might have when building almost every application. Like how do we add motion and element transitions? How do we handle user input via form elements? How do we add CSS to our components without polluting the global scope? How do we edit the head tag for our single page applications from within our component and a lot more. Svelte has you covered. When starting out with web development, it is very comforting to have one recommended approach to do something and not to be worried about making a wrong decision. Okay, I can say that Svelte is going to be a great addition to your skill set. Now then what are the prerequisites to get started with Svelte? Well, HTML, CSS and JavaScript fundamentals are absolutely necessary. For this course, I'll also making be use of ES6 plus features. So a knowledge of modern JavaScript is also essential. You don't have to be an expert in these prerequisites, but there are a few modern JavaScript features that make it so much easier to write Svelte code. My goal is to make sure we all advance from a complete beginner to be an expert in Svelte. Okay, that's all for this video. If you find this video informative, then hit the like button. And if you want to continue this series, then do subscribe to this channel. I am going to upload tutorials of this series daily. So if you are a subscriber of this channel, then you won't miss any update. Alright then, with this introduction, let's get started with a simple hello world application in the next video.